Hey guys, what's up? Strong for here. Today we got 11,400 average MMR game in which Yataro is playing carry and 33 in the off lane. So in this video, we are gonna learn how Yataro plays versus a very hard lane. You can see his starting items. If you see the starting item, you will see this is Hera. He's got a belt of strength, but and he's got three iron branches. Now I think he's got this because he wants maximum base damage as well as HP. So I think this is the most efficient way to get more base damage as well as HP for Sven. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subs. It will be a great help. Now he's playing against a Tidehunter and you don't want to lean against Tidehunter because Tidehunter melee matchup is very bad because he just anchor smashes you and you can't hit the creeps and you take a lot of harassment and it's not very efficient. So he wants to rush his power threats this game. So he just has to get 1000 more gold and then he can farm the jungle efficiently. So for the first wave he starts hitting the creep and then he aggro pulls as Tidehunter comes and he's using the stun to try to secure the creep. He doesn't want Tidehunter to get the deny. He aggro pulled it again to deny the range creep. You can see how he's trying to dodge the anchor smash. Now 33 does an aggro pull which prevents the melee creep from hitting the range creep. Tidehunter gets the deny. Now 33 is alone in the lane and his support is not there so that's why they are putting a lot of harassment onto the Tidehunter. Now his chain is trying to pull the creeps because Tiny is trying to pull the creeps from behind the tower and Yataro aggro pulls here so Ty doesn't deny that one melee creep and he takes the range creep under the tower so he can kill it fast and then go to contest the creeps that were pulled at the hard camp. Now Chen did an aggro pull there to pull the creep to deny the range creep and Yataro does the great cleave on the small camp in order to farm the small camp because most of the creeps are very useless. Now he has a chain in the lane, so this means chain can get the harpoon creep that will be a big power spike in the lane and they can try to look punish this tiny as well as tide in the lane. So that's why he's hitting this creep so as to clear it. So he gets disarmed here and then tiny comes with the high five and he gets the last hit on the big creep. The rest of the creeps are like 9 or 11 gold worth. Now chain did an amazing aggro pull so that Yataro could last hit the creep with the great cliff. Now tiny pulled the creeps again. So he's hitting this creep here because he wants to take the next wave with him and farm it peacefully without Tidehunter trying to anchor smash him and reduce damage and try to deny. You can see how he's attacking the creeps. He's hitting the creep and moving back and then hitting again. So this way he doesn't have to tank too many creeps at a time. Now Yataro is holding his hero under the tower aura. So his hero is under the tower aura but the creeps are outside and farming the creeps. So he's getting the 3 armor in 1 HP region which will help him to farm efficiently. Now he has no creeps to farm as Tidehunter is holding the wave behind the tower. So he's denying the wave from Yataro. So instead of going there, Yataro decides to farm NC. So this medium camp does very little physical damage. And that's why he is just standing there and trying to right click and cancel the backswing animation. Now because of Chen, the small camp is blocked by the sentry. So Yataro is pinging it. And Yataro bought the gloves of his first because he wants to farm jungle. This way he can farm it efficiently and he did not get the boots because he can't really kill the Tidehunter or the Tiny because Tiny is roaming everywhere and Tidehunter is hard to kill. Now we again aggro pull here to farm the creeps to avoid the anchor smash. You can see how 33 is positioning very aggressively as Tidehunter. Now did you notice whenever he aggro pulls, he tries to attack the creep so as to get the aggro again. Otherwise the creep will move towards where the other creeps are attacking them. Now Chen got a small camp pull so he got only one melee creep coming towards the lane. So he aggro pulls the creep so as to play it safely and he hits the creep so as to draw the aggro again and he takes them behind the tower so that he can farm it safely without getting dived by the tide or tiny. Now after finishing the wave, he buys his boots and goes to the Radiant tier 1 tower where he will meet the creeps and tries to farm them to clear the waves so that he can look to contest the tide hunter because Tiny is in the mid lane so with Chen and Yataro they can look to punish tide. Now because these two are there, 33 is aggro pulling the creep. Yataro is attacking the CW because he wants to flash it. But 33 is not letting him, so Yataro is forced to scale one more point in the stun just to secure the creep. Normally you won't see a Sven having the great clip 2 points so early in the game. He will save the points until he tries to jungle because he doesn't want to push the wave. But in this case, he doesn't want to lane against a tired hunter so he scaled 2 points in the great clip so he can farm the creeps without taking too much damage and farm it efficiently. 
So when he's done farming the lane creeps, he's going to the jungle to increase the efficiency. And the stack time is coming, so he's stacking the creeps. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 1000 subs, it will be a great help. You can see where Yastaro is standing. He's standing at the optimal position where the creeps will attack him once and they will move back. And this way Yataro gets to farm it very efficiently. So this is the optimal position for this camp. We also notice that he has his power threats on the agility. Because he doesn't want the 10 strength as damage. He wants the attack speed as well as the armor which he gets from the power threats. Now Yataro is going behind the tide to hit the creeps because he doesn't want tide to do the hanger smash with him and the creeps. So this way tide will get maximum efficiency and he's trying to dodge that. You saw how 33 is trying to bully the Sven only, he's attacking the Sven because Sven can't really do damage anything to Tide. Now Yataro even lets the one range camp die but he goes to the small camp to farm the small camp. Now Tide Hunter got level 6 so that means he can threaten to kill Yataro. So Yataro is thinking how to clear this wave and he takes a very good path without him noticing and and he farms the creep here because Tide can't really come here to stop him and Tiny is not there in the lane because he is ganking the mid lane. Now I forgot to mention he got the Morbid Mask in order to increase efficiency because he wants life save in this lane. So with this move, Yataro clears the wave that is coming under the tower and protects his tower. Otherwise Tide would have pressured the tower very hard with the creep wave and Sven couldn't do anything. If Sven tried to clear the wave and he would also get punished because 33 has got the Ravage. So with the wave clear at the tower, he goes back to the jungle to increase efficiency. So after clearing the NC, he comes back to the lane to defend the creeps at the tower because the Titan is pulling the wave and trying to farm it at the neutral camp. So he is also increasing his efficiency. Then he is going ahead to clear the new creep wave that is coming because he doesn't want to lane it against the Tide Hunter and this way Tide will not get any creeps to pressure at the tower. So Yatara goes to collect the Lotus as the Lotus is still available at 7 and 30 minutes because nobody is interested in the Lotus, everybody is interested in farming the creeps and because he cleared the wave, he's got a free time to gank now. So he goes to kill the Snapfire mid and at the same time helping Storm to secure the mid drone. So this is a very good rotation, he gets one kill and one assist getting total like 200 gold for this rotation and now he can go to the lane back to clear the wave and he finishes Mask of Madness so this will help him boost his farm even more. You can see how efficient he is, he farmed a small camp at 30 seconds gonna approach so he goes to the lane to clear the wave, to clear the pressure of the tower. So this way Tide Hunter doesn't have any creeps to pressure the tower. So he repeats the same process again and again to clear the pressure. And one time Tide Hunter just forcefully tries to hit the tower without any creep. So Yatharo just waits for his mid to come so they can try to kill him. So that's it for this video guys, so thank you guys for watching, see you guys in the next video, take care, thanks for watching, bye.